What's going on guys, it's Arrow, and before y'all say anything, yeah, I know, I haven't uploaded in about a week, and y'all know my schedule, man, it's almost non-existent at this point, there's reasons why I haven't been uploading, man, I've just been too busy with work and all of this stuff, but I'm gonna be uploading more for you guys, okay, I'm figuring out a way to upload more, alright, just bear with me, okay, I'm gonna be making more content, I'm not quitting, alright, I'm, I'm still here, I'm gonna be doing this, if it's once a week for now, then I'm sorry, that's what it's gonna have to be, but I'm gonna try to upload more, Anyway, Breakthrough Gaming made a response video, not towards me, but towards everybody in a whole, okay? He was on a live stream with this other YouTuber. I'll link this YouTuber down below in the description if you guys want to check out the full live stream. And go subscribe to him because he, you know, put all this together in a pretty great way. And it was honestly a cool little live stream type thing. It was an interview, and he got an interview with Breakthrough Gaming and another YouTuber. I'm not really sure exactly who the other guy was. But today we're going to be reacting to this live stream. I actually have not seen it. I've seen a little bit of the live stream. I'm just saying it's put together really well. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's go check out what he has to say about everything so far. This is going to be a good one, man. How's it going, guys? I'm Breakthrough Gaming. I've been doing Last of Us Part 2 videos since late 2015. People think that I started two years ago, but it was actually much, much longer than, than 2018. There was a lot of controversy surrounding my channel. Uh, some of it was accurate. Most of it, in my uh, honest opinion, was not accurate. And I've been making Last of Us 2 videos for five years now. All right, let that sink in. He's been making videos on a game for five years that wasn't even out originally at all. That wasn't even announced. So the dude was just making bullshit-ass videos for five years straight. That's all that he's been doing anyway. If you guys scroll down Breakthrough's channel, that's all he's been uploading is nothing but The Last of Us 2. I honestly didn't know any of that, and that's kind of crazy, man. here to clarify that, and um, I'm happy to partake in a debate. First time I get invited to anything at all like this, so I'm looking forward to it. He's been sucking Naughty Dog's dick for five years, but just now gets invited to a interview. With a YouTuber that's not even the same size as him, alright? Size doesn't matter. Subs don't matter here on YouTube. Everybody should know that. And if you don't, well, you need to figure that out. That subs really don't matter. It's all about the views and how many viewers you get. And by looking at the views of this channel, they get some pretty good views, alright? They get more than me, and that's definitely pretty good for the size that they have. And the, the thing is, the first thing it gets invited to is an interview. Like I said, with a channel smaller than him. That's not good, dude. If you've been sucking Naughty Dog's cock for the last five years, you think you'd get invited to, you know, a meeting or something? But no, this is the first thing he's done in five years, man. That's honestly sad. Now, let's just clarify the point. Um, have you now, have you ever worked for any type of company? Because I know that was the big thing that people were speculating and jumping into your channel and accusing you of. Have you now, have you ever work for any type of company uh, that has paid you to promote this game in any way, shape, or form. No, but I would love that that was the case. <laughs> Tuber is saying is wrong, or this guy is lying out of his ass, okay? How could you simp so hard for Naughty Dog or any video game that much his breakthrough has done without getting paid for it? There's no way. He's made videos for five years on The Last of Us 2, and he's trying to tell me that Naughty Dog isn't paying this guy to say anything about their game? Man, I don't know about that one, but I, I kind of refuse to believe that. This is what really threw me off from the quartering. Uh, him bringing in Demon Asylum into this. That's my friend since I was 12 years old, and I have no association to, to that YouTube channel, the one that does all the Borderlands and the Fallout glitches, mod exploits. Okay. I have zero association to that, but, but I found it really amusing how uh, the quartering, for some odd reason, um, felt the need to connect that or, you know, yeah. <laughs> that guy is brain dead, man. Okay, you just said that this other YouTuber was your friend, and you're saying how the quartering said y'all two were connected. Does this not make any sense to anybody else, okay? He is saying y'all are connected because you two are friends, and you just admitted that, but still somehow get mad at the quartering for saying y'all two are connected? When I mean, you kind of are, dude. This game, like November of 2015, uh, saying that it was going to be shown at E3 2016, it was a wild guess, but... That was the start, so I'm getting a little tired of it. <laughs> Wild guess, all right. Like, you totally didn't know already that it was going to be at E3 2016. Like, you're not working for Naughty Dog. Like I said, how could somebody make a video on a game for five years straight? The same game, okay? I don't know how anybody could find that amusing. If you're going to be watching this guy's channel, it's the same videos over and over again. I don't know how Breakthrough has almost 100,000 subscribers when he's been doing the same videos. 
for basically five years and somehow predicted that it was going to be shown at E3 2016. Mm, kind of weird, isn't it? Yeah, like he's not working for Naughty Dog. Yeah, we totally believe that breakthrough. Nobody does. Literally, it's just because I've been doing YouTube for 10 years or more. Yeah, 2009 was my first year. Okay. Uh, actually, you know, uh, before we begin, so people do want to give you credit. Uh, Kurogani uh, Uzumaki, I have to give props to uh, Breakthrough for coming forth and being up front during this debate. Most people wouldn't be as upfront as him during debates like this. Um, and then Magic Mosquito, credit where credit is due. Kind of agree with what the fans are saying of this live stream here. He is being pretty upfront and he isn't being a usual douchebag like he is in his other videos. So I do give him credit for that. I really do. Uh, maybe he could start doing that for regular YouTube videos as well and complete, being a complete douche to every other YouTuber who criticizes his videos because that's exactly what he's been doing. I took it out not because, not because anything changed. It's still the same exact thing. When I opened the channel in 2015, I talked to Austin and I let him know that literally on the contract it says Deborah Rivera. I purposely put everything off my name legally, even the tax paperwork, even the direct deposit doesn't even come into my bank account. And to this day, it still does that just because, you know, my channel is growing even though- Shitty company to be underneath, man. If you're not getting any of the money from anything that they help you with, that's a shitty company, man. You're literally working underneath them to try to help you get more viewers and more subscribers here on YouTube. But you're not getting any of the money for it. That sounds a little scummy, and it's almost too hard to believe exactly what he's saying. People are saying that Omni Media, this so-called marketing company that he's underneath, works for Sony. And if that was the case, I mean, it would make a lot of sense what's been going on here recently. But he's, you know, he's over here denying it, saying that that's not true at all. And, you know, he's heard about it and his speculation, but it's not actually true from what he knows. But he also could be lying about this point as well. Um, it was uh, Deborah Rivera, you said? Yes. yes. Okay. Deborah Rivera, yes. All right. So I think that was probably why a lot of people would, like, even me, I was saying, like, it, it seems odd to think that this is a site that's for two years being paid to do Last of Us 2, right? But then you... That Breakthrough Gaming don't have a lick of a social life. He's always laughing and doing really awkward things in the camera. Does this dude ever go out of his house or does he just jerk off to Last of Us 2? He's, he says he hasn't seen the leaks. I guarantee you this guy's seen leaks. He's probably jerking off to Abby in his back basement or something, dude. Like He's so awkward when it comes to this live stream, man. It's almost uncomfortable to watch at this point. The Last of Us 2, 10 of which I believe are special edition copies. Um, I did the math on someone else's stream. Uh, based on Florida with sales tax, it's gonna be roughly like four thousand, roughly about four thousand dollars now. I do have about seventy percent of all the money right now. I own a smoke shop in downtown Kissimmee, which is the city where I live in. Shut the fuck up! Roughly four thousand dollars on a fucking video game. Okay, yeah, he may own a smoke shop. Don't know if that's true or not. He could be bullshitting about that, but you know, benefit of the doubt. He probably does own a smoke shop, or so he says. And I've been to downtown Kissimmee. There is a lot of them, okay? I've been to that area of Florida before. There is a lot of smoke shops down there. So it's very possible that he does own a smoke shop down there. I'm not denying that. But $4,000 worth of video game material. 50 copies you're going to be giving out to people. And he says later on in this point that, you know, he's worked up over time, over the years that he's raised to earn money to get more copies out to more people. And it's kind of weird because the game's not even out yet at all. How are you going to start saving up for copies late 2015 when the game wasn't even announced till 2016? Kind of weird, kind of fishy. And like he says, he doesn't work for Naughty Dog, so. And we'll go over the devil comments and everything. Um, oh, ah, I love this part. All right. Artistic sound he just made. He's like, oh, yeah. Like, what, what the hell is this guy's problem, dude? He's drinking a lot of fluids. Like, is he that dehydrated in this live stream? Or is he just that nervous because he doesn't want to get called out on any of his bullshit? I, I think that's the most reasonable explanation. 20 minutes into this live stream. And a lot of the points he's saying isn't really nothing too bad compared to his YouTube videos that he makes. But if you guys want to see the rest of this live stream, like I said, I will link it down below. But that's probably going to be all for this video. Honestly, I still think Breakthrough Game is a piece of shit. And he's lying throughout half of this live stream. So, you know, benefit of the doubt. Maybe he's telling the truth. Maybe he's not. I'm just going off on my own opinion and saying... You know, he's not telling the truth about anything he says so far. You know, anything about owning a smoke shop and stuff like that, you know, that's probably true. You know, he's all the financing things correct so far. You know, he, he didn't pull it off the top of his head like that. 
he already knew the answer before it was asked so you know maybe that whole thing is true but everything he says about working for Naughty Dog and Sony and all that we do not know the truth behind that and he could be lying about all of that in this situation so anyway guys this is going to be the video hope you guys did enjoy it's been Iroh and I will see y'all probably not next week and signing up